This is Star. Hello, Star. Hi, Star. What are you doing? Coloring. That's very nice, Star. I love coloring. What are you coloring? That's a wonderful rainbow star. You just have to color it in. You want us to help you? Do you want to help Star color in the rainbow? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. What's the first color, Star? Red. You're right. The first color of the rainbow is red. In Spanish, red is rojo. Can you say rojo? Rojo. Very good. In French, red is rouge. Can you say rouge? Rouge. Red is an energetic color, often associated with love, happiness, and good luck. This is the Chinese character for love. Many things are red. Do you know what this is? A fire truck. Well done. And what about this? An apple. Very good. Let's see what other red things we can find. This is Star. Hello, Star. Hi, Star. And this is Star's little sister, Starlet. <laughs> Hello, Starlet. Hi, Starlet. <laughs> is Starlet going to help us find the colors of the rainbow? Great. What color is next? Orange. That's right. Orange is the next color in the rainbow. In Spanish, orange is anaranjado. Can you say anaranjado? Anaranjado. Very good. In French, orange is orange. Can you say orange? Orange. Well done. Orange is a warm, happy color associated with energy, autumn, and Halloween. Do you know what this is? A pumpkin. That's right. There are lots of orange fruits and vegetables: oranges and peaches, carrots, cantaloupes, mangoes, and sweet potatoes. Mmm, yummy! How many other orange things can you find?
This is Star. Hello, Star. Hi, Star. Star, you look very excited. Are you excited about the next color? Is this your favorite color? What is the next color in the rainbow? Yellow. Yes, it is yellow. 
I can see why yellow is Star's favorite color. Can you? <laughs> what color is Star? Yellow! That's right. In Spanish, yellow is amarillo. Amarillo! Very good. In French, yellow is jaune. Jaune! Yellow is a very happy color, <laughs> like our friend Star. Yellow is also the color of bananas, corn, and baby chicks. Do you know what a baby chick sounds like? Cheep, 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 cheep. Very good. What other yellow things do you think we'll see? Hello, Starlet. Hi, Starlet. You look happy. <laughs> Have you found our next color? Green. That's right. The next color of the rainbow is green. In Spanish, green is verde. Can you say verde? Verde. In French, green is pronounced ver. Can you say ver? Ver. Green is a wonderful color frequently found in nature. Trees and leaves are green. Grass is green. In fact, green is the word used to describe someone that cares about nature and our planet. Do you know what this symbol means? Recycle. That's right. Recycle means to reuse something instead of just throwing it away. Let's see how many more green things we can spot.
Spanish pumpkin. A green turtle. A yellow star. Hi, star. Sometimes you have to mix colors to get the colors that you want. Hello, Star. Hi, Star. I think Star has already found our next color. What do you think it is? Blue. You're right. It's blue. Azul is how you say blue in Spanish. Can you say azul? Azul. Very good. Blue sounds almost the same in English as it does in French. Bleu. Bleu. Well done. Blue is a calming color. It's the color of water and of the sky. It's also the color of peace. Blue is many people's favorite color. Is it yours? Hello, Star. Hello, Starlet. Hi, Star. 
Are you ready for our last color? Let's count down to our last color. Three, two, one. Purple! That's right, it's purple. In Spanish, purple is pronounced morado. Morado! In French, purple is violet. Violet! Purple is a very special color because you have to mix two other colors to get it. Red and blue mixed together makes purple. In many countries, purple is a color of royalty, of kings and queens. Purple is also associated with wisdom and with some special people in our life. Do you know who? Grandma and Grandpa! Yes, purple is the color of grandparents. How many other things are purple? Hello, Star. Hi, Star. We've collected all the colors of the rainbow. Should we add them to our picture? Yes. That's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. We've colored in the rainbow. Yay! I think this deserves a celebration. What do you think? That was great. Rainbows are symbols of promises, peace, hope, and love. They are also used to remind us that the world is beautiful because it's full of different types of people. You should be very proud of yourself. You learned a lot today. But now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Star. Goodbye, Star. We'll see you on our next adventure. This is, this, <clears throat> this is Star. Hello, Star. Hi, Star. You're very busy today, Star. What are you doing? Oh, you're going on a trip. Where are you going? Around the world? 
You want me to come along? I'd love to. Would you like to come too? Yes! Good. So where are we going first? Oh, we're going to visit the United States and Canada. These two countries have many different landscapes. There are tropical places and snowy places too. There are large cities and wide open prairies and deserts. There are majestic mountains and over two million beautiful lakes. In fact, more than a quarter of the Earth's fresh water is in those lakes. Lots of people and animals need fresh water. So we should try to keep it as clean as we can. Now let's start our adventure. Hello, Star. Hi, Star! Hello, Soul. Are you joining us on our next journey? Then I'm going to guess we're going to someplace hot. The hottest places on Earth are around or below the equator. The equator is an invisible line that runs around the middle of the Earth. Can you say equator? Well done! Are we going near the equator, Sol? Latin America. Latin America can get very hot. There are deserts and beaches, and the world's largest rainforest called the Amazon. The Amazon is home to more animals and plants than we can even count. How many animals do you think we'll see? <laughs> 